Hi there! I'm here to explain how to play Exploding Kittens to you as quickly and painlessly as possible. You play the game by putting the deck face down and taking turns drawing cards. If someone draws an Exploding Kitten card, they explode, they are dead, and they are out of the game. Unless that player has a Diffuse card, in which case they can diffuse the Exploding Kitten by first putting their Diffuse card into the discard pile and then reinserting the Exploding Kitten back into the draw pile anywhere they like in secret. That player is still in the game and now knows the secret location of the Exploding Kitten. They can put it on top, bottom, somewhere in the middle, or count cards down so they know exactly when it's going to show up again. They don't get to look through the deck. They just get to reinsert the Exploding Kitten. All of the other cards in the deck are used to avoid the Exploding Kittens. For example, there's a card called See the Future, which allows you to privately view the top three cards in the draw pile. If you were to play this card, you could take a sneak peek at the top three cards in the deck. If the top card was an Exploding Kitten, you could then play a Skip card, which lets you end your turn without drawing. The next player would then hopefully draw the kitten instead of you, and they would explode and be booted from the game. Unless they had a Diffuse card, of course. Your turn consists of two parts. First, you play Action Cards from your hand. The See the Future and Skip cards I mentioned are both Action Cards. You can play as many actions as you want, or none at all. Then you draw a card, and hope it's not an exploding kitten. When you draw a card, your turn is over. That's basically it for a turn. First play as many actions as you want, then draw a card to end your turn. Play actions, then draw. Play actions, then draw. If you draw an exploding kitten and you don't have a diffuse card, you lose. You win the game by being the last person left alive who hasn't exploded. That's basically it. The number of cards in your hand doesn't matter. Just don't blow up. There's a few other things you should know. First off, let's talk about nope cards. Nope cards can be played at any time, even when it's not your turn, and they stop the action of another player. So, for example, if another player puts down a See the Future card, you could slap a nope on top of it and they wouldn't get the peek at the top couple of cards. If they had a nope card as well, they could counter it with a yup, and so on. Nope cards can stop any action except for diffuse cards and exploding kittens. Everything else is fair game. Now you may have noticed that some of the cards don't have any instructions on them. Cards such as Taco Cat and Harry Potato Cat. What you want to do with these cards is try to get two or three of a kind. If you have two of a kind, you can play them as an action and pick another player to steal from. That player holds up their hand and you take a card at random, which would hopefully be something useful like a diffuse card. If you manage to get three of a kind, you instead get to name a card and the player of your choice to give it to you. If they don't have that card, you're out of luck, so be sure to keep an eye on who still has diffuse cards, that way you manage to steal from the right person. Also keep in mind that you can form two or three of a kind with any card, even action cards, as long as the icons in the upper left match. Suppose you have a pair of shuffles. Instead of playing these actions to shuffle the deck, you could play them as a pair and steal a card from another player. Also, if the person you're stealing from has a nope card, they can always block your thievery by playing it. That's it! If all this made sense, you're ready to play. If not, watch the video again or go read the instructions, which also contain a quick reference of what all the cards do. There is one last little thing, though. Go check out the setup section and learn how to get the deck ready before your first game. Good luck, have fun, try not to become a fiery mountain of meat, try to be a winner instead.